Hello everybody, Chaos and Comics, at Chaos and Comics on Instagram, Twitter, and of course here. And today I'm going to talk about the first two issues of James Tynan World Tree. And there's a reason I'm doing just two issues. Um, you know, I like James Tynan fine. I, I follow him and I, I read a good amount of what he does. Not everything. He's not like a Tom King to me or anything like that. But, um, you know, I read a little bit and uh, I wanted to just talk about the two issues first and then you know, maybe talk about the future because I'm not worried about like what I want necessarily. I want the writer to do what he wants. Um, but there are just a couple things with James Tynan that I'm like, you know, and one of them is I, I did the little, you know, straight face thing. I know the camera's not on me and did like a shrug, by the way. <laughs> uh, one of them is, is like, okay, these like sort of high concepts and, uh, and then I'm not sure if they really go anywhere. So this first issue was really fun. Like I enjoyed this a ton. Um, you know, he has this weird thing where he doesn't seem to get in trouble or even ruffle feathers because, you know, I mean, he has an entire series about something that's killing the children and it's like, like as bad as horror as horror can be, you know, the art, the art is a little bit more cartoony, but imagine, uh, you know, like a Barry Windsor Smith drawing, you know, corpses of children and stuff because the monster's eating them. Um, and so there's something that's similar here that, you know, no one seems to point out. Like, he's a little bit of a, a lefty edgelord, um, you know, to deal with, like, a mass shooting and this and stuff. And uh, in his little, like, Matrix meets COVID sort of book, you know? Um, sort of looks like him, doesn't it? But, I mean, the story was action-packed. It seems like there's a, a whole bunch of plot lines, a whole bunch of threads going on. It's almost like, you know, how can this not develop really fast? Because there's, you know, corporate interests, there's individuals, there's all kinds of things that you can do that makes it feel like this is going to be real big. You know, like a, a you know, something Hickman or, or large that that, you know, with a real plan. I'm, I'm naming the, the writers I like that seem to have real plans, like a Hickman or a, or a Kieran Gillen, um, you know, a couple other guys that are like that. I was trying to think of some more DC type people, but they're definitely there. Tom Taylor's that way. You know, there's like, you feel like there's a real plan uh, being built in despite, you know, whatever else is going on. And that's what it feels like here. And that's what it always feels like in a Tynan book. And then the real question is, um, is where are we going to be at issue seven, six, seven, eight. Because I feel like when we get to issue six, seven, eight, we are still in high concept mode. We've all spent four bucks times six issues, you know, and we're not that much further than we were here or in this second issue. And so that's the real question, you know. And so this book had a lot of action, you know, had the, you know, the half naked girl shooting people. She seems to be part of the whole matrix sphere, whatever thing. Um, and then this book, you know, was a little bit more calm, a lot more talking, uh, a lot more sort of character and world building. And I'm completely fine with that. In fact, these kind of things, and I'm happy he does because I enjoy something that's killing children a lot more in trade. These kind of things really make a trade sort of read well because, you know, you had this sort of speedy issue over here and then, you know, you've got some character building and stuff where, you know, I feel like there's some people that, They'll read something like this. Oh, the first issue is good. This one was too slow. I'm dropping it, right? And I don't think that's the proper way. And, you know, he seems to be headed in the right direction, in my opinion. Um, but the real question is, is what happens in issue six or seven? And I guess we'll find out in five months. That's all I got. Thanks.